I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to find slime chunks in Minecraft. The first thing we need to do is find ourselves a nice big open area that we're going to build in, or wherever the location is that you're planning on building a slime farm or whatever you need the slime chunk for. I'm going to choose this area down here because it seems nice. Now that I've found my area where I want to build my farm, I want to push F3 to bring up the heads up display. And I'm going to write down my coordinates as you see on the screen here. We're also going to need to write down the seed or copy it to the clipboard. So type in the chat slash seed and hit enter and that will bring your seed up. So now all you have to do is go down and click on this and it's going to copy it to your clipboard. Now that we have our coordinates and our seed number, we're going to go to google.com and type in the search bar Minecraft Slime Chunk Finder and then we're going to hit enter. That's going to bring up some search results as always and right here this very top one is the one that I like to use. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to bring up Chunk Base. Really nice site. So now we're going to scroll down just a bit until we see the box that has seed next to it. Go ahead and click on that. Hold Control and tap V and that's going to enter that in for you automatically. You'll notice on the top and the side of the map here we have an X and a Z. That's for your coordinates. So my coordinates for the X is going to be negative 204. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit using the scroll wheel, grab on the map down here, and scroll this over until I get to around about where I need to be. So negative 208 and negative 192. That's where I'm going to be. And then we have Z is 58 for me. So now I'm just going to scroll down until I find something around 58. So we're passing the zero and right in this area between 48 and 64. Now it looks like I do have a double slime chunk right here and I'm standing probably in this chunk over here. Now what I'm going to do is mark down negative 224 and negative 192 and now I'm going to put an X next to that. Then I'm going to go to the Z over here and write down 32 as well as 48 and put Z next to that. Now coming back over to Minecraft, I'm going to hit F3 plus G to bring up the chunk borders. And then I'm going to walk one direction back and forth and see which one of my coordinates is moving the most. And for me, that's going to be the X. So I need to find X negative 192. So I'm going to walk this way until I get to 192. And that'll be right here. Mark that out. And then we're going to go back this way and find negative 224. And it looks like negative 224 is right there. Now we need to find our Z coordinates. So I'm going to turn to the side here and start walking for the Z number to start going up. And we're going to go to 64 and then to 80. So here is 64. And this is the very corner of this chunk right here. So we're going to pillar that up just a little bit. And then we're going to keep going over this way until we get to 80, which is right here in this corner. Technically 80 is outside our border, but if we're going to be digging, we want these blocks on the exact point inside the chunk. Now we can go back over to our X that we found on the other side and mark this off as well. So this one is going to be down here in line with that one. Again, it's going to be inside the chunk that you're going to want to mark. And then we're going to go over here and mark this corner of it. So that's going to be right here. Keep in mind that slime do not spawn above Y level 40 in slime chunks, only in swamps. I have marked out two chunks within the chunk borders, and that is going to be exactly where we need to be. You can also go back to the website and double check that you've gotten all your coordinates right and everything. But now you can dig all the way down to bedrock, build yourself a slime farm, or whatever it is that you needed the slime chunks for. I hope you've learned something today. If you did, remember to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Stay safe and stay positive. I'll see you in the next one.